I am here about to tackle this piece here. If you look the front, it looks super neat. Just a couple of buttons, very nicely done. But if you look at the back, this is where I get overwhelmed. This is the control panel of Yaba. It is very nice, a very good one, it's the original one. But the only problem is that it is 12 volts and we are changing our whole system for 24 volts. And this one, there are many things that I can reuse, but some stuff have to be changed. To change this panel from 12 volts to 24 volts, all we need to do is get this tag that says 24, hide the 12 with it, Ta-da! It's not the first time on this project that we are tackling something that we've never done before, so I think it's gonna be fun. Where should we start? found a tag here that says that this panel was made on the 10th of November of 2004 so almost 20 years ago which is insane and then there's a second date which was probably when someone was just checking it out 20th of August of 2009 so since 2009 no one has touched this but me and I really hope I don't do anything wrong because I'll be just ruining a heritage <laughs> At first it was super difficult to have it all planned out in our heads because we didn't know how this was going to unfold but now that we have started I can already figure out what are the next things that we have to do. So what I did now was removing these parts here which are pretty much the backlight of the writing of each button because all I need to replace on the whole panel is just the lights. Only the lights are 12 volts, all the rest is fine but anyway this here is responsible to giving light to the letter so I can read that's a pump or it's a nav light. Also, this strip here is the light itself of each button. This is the old one and it's gonna be replaced by this one which is 24. That's what I'm gonna do now. These here are all off so I'm gonna turn them on. Yeah, and test. The last one tricked me that it wasn't working, but the truth is that it wasn't even on because the button itself is broken. So even though it's working, I'm gonna replace it. So I just need to unscrew it here, put a new one in a sec. I don't know if you can tell, but now I have so much more access to everything because I dared to remove those wires. Of course, I took many photos before just in case, but now I can really work on everything else and it feels a lot nicer and less overwhelming. So the first set of lights is done, we have another three, one the same size and two smaller ones. I'm gonna do them now, I think it's gonna be a lot easier because I already broke the eyes and then after everything is replaced, all the lights are 24 volts, then I'm gonna just connect all these wires that are there to disconnect, I hope everything goes well, and then we're gonna test it out to see if it was done well. All the doubts were eliminated here and I could go there and I thought it was a lot faster and a lot easier. Just one more to go and then we're gonna have a panel, bring it back to the boat and then we can start installing to this everything 
We can turn the switch on for the lights, for the pump and for whatever else that we want to add to this panel. So this is a very big milestone. I know I'm celebrating too soon, but I'm very excited. Time to start connecting. I'm going to start first with these white wires. I left them connected like this, so it's very easy to know which one is which, but still the other end is not connected to anything, so later I'll just make sure that I connect the right things to the right button. They are super important, they're not part of the panel, but the panel would not make sense if they didn't exist. So it's important that I do this paying attention, so I kept it the same way. I think it's gonna be quite simple. And then later I'm gonna go to this one that I'm a bit more scared about. Was the last connection now I'm just gonna double triple quadruple check everything and then we're gonna test it <laughs> I was double checking and I realized that I was talking with this loose wire in front of my face the whole time <laughs> this was the last connection I'm gonna connect it and then I really believe we'll be ready unless there's something else that's right on my face literally that I cannot see but I think once this is gone, put in place, we'll be fine. Time of truth, there's no more escape for me. I just need to find out if the job worked or not. So this is plugged and this is the main one that I have to test. Okay, nothing exploded and I can see already that these lights are on, which I replaced, is the backlight of everything that's written. I can see from here very well, that's very red. And then here is just a subtle red, so we can read what's written. And now I have to check the other ones, like, individually, one by one. Last one. Every single one of these and all these lights were replaced by me and it's working so I'm very 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 happy. I see that here some of the words we cannot really see but I notice it has like a double paper so that's probably why it's not see-through anymore and the backlight doesn't come through so I need to get that sorted in order to read every single one of them in the dark but it's very 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 nice we can finally say that this panel is 24 volts CMP, we just take it out of the box and I'll carry it by the handles into its area. Oh, that's a very good idea. Did you come up with it yourself? Yeah, yeah I came up all by myself.
of our battery bank are now inside the boat. Not in place yet, but soon we're gonna change that. This is the first time that this panel is stepping on Yaba being a 24 volt instead of 12. Ignore here the 12, we still need to change that, but everything else is changed and this is now 24 volts to match our new system. So what I need to do now? Just put it in place and start playing around. We have a lot of wires to connect because of course each one of these buttons has to do a function and I bet that's gonna be a very fun game to play. So the first step will be just put this in place and then we'll see how the rest will go. Okay, that was easy. Now our electrics is ready. We can go to the next thing, like painting the anti -calling. <laughs> Okay, no. Seriously, let's do it. Ta-da! It is so nice to see the panel back here and imagining saying how nice is this. Imagine the horizon there. I don't really know what's the next step because all I can think about is celebrating. Working on the panel on the table was definitely more comfortable but it really feels different to have it here in place and it really helps us understand a lot of things better. So I was just here analyzing. I saw the power source is coming from here and going all the way attached so it comes out on this side but we actually want it on that side because it doesn't need to be that way now we have the winch there it would just make more sense to have it coming straight down from there instead of bringing it here so i'm gonna cut a couple of zip ties and start making this panel make sense Can we sail yet? Yes. Yeah? Actually, it depends on you. Rigging. <laughs> And with that, ladies and gents, we have a brand new wire tint coming straight from the links to our panel. I think now what I would love to do is actually bring power through the links to the panel to see if it's working. But for that, as we don't have the batteries connected yet, I would need to bring the... I never know the name in English. The thing that I'm connecting to 220 to transform to 24, I'll bring that there, pretend it's a battery, connect the links to that, and then bring power to the panel. I think that would be very cool to see if everything is working, if we can pretend that that's a battery, that would be very cool. Later, every single one of these wires should go, well, not somewhere, should go here, and then from here, somewhere. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought you were gonna do it with your teeth. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> By the way, look at this t-shirt. Can they get one of them? Yes, they can. 
Agora shopsailingaba.com Link na descrição. that was transforming 220 to 24 volts used to live here for the longest time and from there we were using all our equipment that's 24 volts like the lights and testing everything else but now with a bold move we are bringing the power source here where the batteries will be so we can really start doing the way from the official power source to everything else so if you follow me here under the sofa is the home of our batteries and now the power source is also here and from there we'll bring power to our panel but what's important that we need to know for today this one is going up to the panel and now this one is our power source that we are about to test i'm a bit nervous because of course always working giving power to the equipment and using 220 in it gives me a bit of some chills but i think it's gonna be fine this is off for now, and then when we turn this on, the power will flow here and up to the panel, and we'll see if it's working. Are you ready for the test? I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling any chill today. <laughs> it's incredibly hot. Like, I think it's 35 degrees, but feels like 40 Celsius, right? Feels like 1 million <laughs> In case it wasn't clear enough, this is temporary, it's just for a test. Officially, we will have the batteries giving power to this. As they are not connected yet, we are using that little thing and that's why the wires are looking a bit funny. It's temporary, just for a test. When we have the batteries connected with all the wires, then that will be it. Nothing happened. <laughs> so, power source plugged in doing a noise so we know it's working it's coming up here but that is off so for now nothing should be working this is on leading power to these we're just connected to the panel <laughs> ready for takeoff that reminded me so much of a spaceship. I thought it would make sense to have here all the things that make the boat work, like pumps and fridge and stuff, and then use these ones for lights because we have the lights downstairs, the lights up here, engine room lights, like many, many lights, and then here more to navigation, radar, GPS, VHF, and all those things. That's what made sense in my head now, but of course everything can be changed in the future if it doesn't make sense. So what I just did now, I want to have light in the engine room again, so I chose this one to be the engine room light, this button. Then I'll come here. This one here, the third button, find the wire, identify it, bring it here, connect it, and then this one will bring power to the engine room light, and then we're going to have light. Let's see if that works. The engine room is dark, but this button that I just chose is off. Let's see if we did it right. On and on. <laughs> nice. Celebration done. Let's get back to work. Now, the next step is to choose one of those get the wire and make that thing happen and then later we're gonna add pumps toilet pumps fridge freezer like so many things so it's gonna be very exciting we're gonna start with these things and then keep going by the way we're replacing these connectors for the wagon ones because we think they're more trustworthy I believe I just connected that correctly I chose this one that is on and now time of truth. I did something wrong. <laughs> okay, this is embarrassing. Let's keep going. As the other lights were working, I assumed the negative was connected for all of them. This line here, the negative is here and it was connected straight to the power source. And of course, when we moved the power source down, it was disconnected. So that's why it didn't work. This wire here is the one that's coming down there from the links that's giving negative to the whole panel 
and I put in the same bus bar you can see this one here that is this black one it enters here I did a little bridge here and then now this one is the pilot house light now let's see if I figured that out correctly and it will work so it was the second one right power there now it has to work guys go on <laughs> it always feels so nice to see that things work so this is a victory and I think it will be the last victory of the day now that we have the panel working I think we can really evolve loads with electrics because we can start connecting every single device to the panel and have it there because before as we didn't have the panel we were not doing the wires of any pumps or any toilets or anything and I think now with this it was really the kick we were needing to keep going with all that so I'm very happy with this this is a big victory a big step of course in an ideal world I will do everything and show in an episode but now we're doing daily episodes and I cannot do everything in a day so this is what we have for today I hope you enjoy it I really did I really love working with electrics I cannot believe those words are coming out from my mouth but I really do and I hope you enjoy it so see you tomorrow don't forget see you tomorrow bye our dream is only possible thanks to you so thank you so much Steve and Kim for joining us on Patreon William, Tyler, Roman, Antoinette, Greg and John for leaving us a PayPal donation and Adrian, Michael, Damien, Duane, Scott, Darren, Pedro, Ralph, John, Calvin, Jay, Dave, Jens, Ghost and Henry for leaving us a super thanks. It really means the world that you guys enjoy your project so much. So thank you again and see you tomorrow. Tell me what you just did. It was off camera only. Do it for me. Off camera. The camera's not. Turn the camera off. <laughs> You're not posting that.